feel like I should have bells and whistles going off or like the Drudge Report, a big red siren going for this news that is coming up. And this news is so big that uh, I cannot just start the broadcast with it. I have to uh, build it up because I've, I've noticed over the years that if I come out with a bombshell info and just blurt it out up front, that it doesn't get the attention and the traction it deserves. Um, this latest uh, Homeland Security activity should be as big as the MIAC and Homeland Security reports that law enforcement now sent us two years ago where they admit that 90 plus percent of their training and preparation is for gun owners, conservatives, returning veterans, uh, white people, uh, Ron Paul supporters, people that want to get us out of the UN and in the Fed. Uh, this new video uh, is in an article Paul Watson has written. DHS video characterizes white Americans as most likely terrorist. Big sis fear campaign continues, but Americans are just as likely to be killed by peanut allergies than they are in a terrorist attack. Uh, and that's even averaging the deaths of 9-11 into the equation in the last 10 years. We're going to be going over this and playing much of the nine-minute propaganda video of the See Something, Say Something campaign they're putting on television uh, and on telescreens at Walmarts, Mall of America, and other uh, places where people congregate, uh, the modern town squares, the uh, modern uh, commons. Uh, this is off the charts. It, it, it shows people's blue eyes and zooms in on them and animates the blue eyes flashing over and over again and has black people and other minorities reporting on the whites. I mean, it is 100% designed to shift, see, see, first they sell you on tyranny that it's only for a group that's overall unpopular, quote, Muslims, Muslim extremists. And Hitler did that with the Jews. And then once that's in place and the police state's in place in the name of going after them, communists, stuff like that, then it's always shifted against the main target, and that's the general public. And whites, of course, on average are the most wealthy and are still, uh, though not for long, the majority, an aging population. And, and it just flashes white person after white person and says they're going to get you, they're coming. And it shows the minority scrambling, calling Homeland Security, who then sends the good white police to stop evil whitey. Uh, so it's a classic divide and conquer. So first they sell the good old boys on... Uh, hey, we're taking everybody's rights and naked body scanning and looking at your bank account and tapping your phone to get the evil Arabs and Muslims, uh, quote, evil Arabs and Muslims. And then uh, the entire time, it was always about landowners, gun owners, uh, pro-lifers. And, and so now they're publicly rolling out what we've been telling you for a decade was going to be white Al-Qaeda or approaching a decade in September that it would then be flipped, because we had the internal documents sent to us by police over the years, that it would then be flipped once the grid was in place and say, look, white people, if they got blue eyes, and it shows the blue eyes animated and flashing and burning uh, in Muslim headdress, that, that white Al-Qaeda is everywhere, and the white people are with bin Laden, and those that want to get out of the UN are with bin Laden, and those that don't want to raise the debt ceiling are with bin Laden, and those that don't like Obama are with bin Laden, and uh, they're just, they're, they're everywhere. White people, uh, they're, they're, they're incredibly evil, they're incredibly dangerous, they're incredibly horrible, and they've got to be stopped immediately. Uh, we're gonna get into that news coming up, and then first, in the first two big segments, I'm covered in all the- DHS video characterizes white Americans as most likely terrorists, and I uh, shot a video breaking down the different uh, facets of this. Uh, this morning, Big Sis tries to turn minorities against whites, by labeling whites terrorist. Uh, that report uh, is up on Infowars.com as well. Uh, our main report, DHS video characterizes white Americans as most likely terrorist, is uh, on the right-hand side of Drudge. Second story down was top story earlier, red linked. I'm glad Matt Drudge of DrudgeReport.com recognizes uh, what is big news. Uh, big sis tries to turn minorities against whites by labeling them terrorists. I wrote this little blurb this morning. Watson's article is more detailed. See something, say something, TV ads sell the false idea that white terrorists are hiding under every rock and only Big Brother can keep minorities safe from the vicious, wicked white killers. For nine years, this has been taught to police behind closed doors. We have the training manuals, the training videos sent to us by good police. That's how we know that. Now they are rolling it out in public, as we told you they would. They would announce white Al-Qaeda is coming to get you. The propagandists sell 
in the past sold good old boys on the police state to keep us safe from al Qaeda. They then turn it around on the whole public. Uh, we're going to go to that video in a little while. Uh, some whites uh, are uh, racist uh, against minorities, so the federal takeover is sold in the name of getting the evil brown people. Uh, then the social engineers flip it and tell the racists that happen to have dark skin it is the whites to look out for. Total divide and conquer is the outcome. Everyone is bad, but the real terrorists that actually stage the attacks are loving protectors, uh, the feds. So, so we're being told, and we're going to go to that video again a little bit later. Um, we, are, we are told that that the government is here to keep us safe we are told that they're doing everything they can to stop al-qaeda from striking you at any minute and then we learn on record that the u.s government was protecting the hijackers that's even senator graham one of the 9-11 commissioners and five others six of the ten have said that we played you the msnbc clip last week we learned that the underwear bomber on christmas day a year and a half ago was gotten on the plane uh, by a U.S. government agent, the State Department had to admit that they were ordered to help get him on the plane in Amsterdam. And that uh, without a passport, and the U.S. gave him a visa so the drugged out person could pop a firecracker on his pants. And now we've all got to accept body scanners. Not only is this a domestic police state crackdown politically, it also scares us in, into getting behind all these illegal wars in the name of rooting out the people that attacked us. And also these big defense contractors make in the last decade more than $2 trillion in domestic spying, over a million contractors spying, uh, control grids, face scanning cameras, license plate reading cameras, naked body scanners, data mining. And I'm going to get into some of that news coming up that integrates with this. This is a total takeover. And it's very simple. It's a false flag. Hitler firebombs the Reichstag to declare a police state in Germany. Hitler blows up his own military base in Glywitz to blame on the Poles to launch World War II. Uh, the Tsars did it in Russia. The Soviets did it. The British have been caught doing it over and over again. Mainline British headlines, you know, MI6 running uh, the IRA, staging bombings as a pretext to clamp down on the Irish as, as an excuse to continue to keep troops there. I mean, this is the oldest trick in the book. Obama ships tens of thousands of guns into Mexico to cause a crime wave to then blame it on the Second Amendment. And even when he gets caught, he's still using it outside of law and outside of courts to go in. I was talking to one of my friends the other day uh, who, had, who bought two semi-automatic rifles because they were on sale. I've done that before. And it's a great, by the way, investment. All my guns have gone up in price that I bought, you know, 15 years ago. And he got an ATF FBI visit at his house. No criminal record. It's creating the idea that you're evil and, and the ATF orders gun shops to do things that aren't even the law. That's what tyranny is. That's what martial law is. That's what dictatorship is. Well, I don't care if the federal go if, if the House won't pass a law that we can put carbon taxes on coal power plants. I'm Obama. I'm just going to do it. But by the way, my friends are exempt. This is absolute criminal takeover. I mean, realize that. But I digress. And I won't have time to play the whole nine-minute video. It is, it is propaganda that is unspeakable. I'm going to probably shoot a special report in the next few days where I just take excise pieces of this and, and, and you know, really in a uh, well-documented, slick way, uh, show people what's happening instead of just up here talking about it because words cannot describe how wicked and duplicitous this is. So what did Hitler do? First, he goes after unpopular groups in Germany, Jews, gypsies, communists, and he takes their rights away in law, and people get behind it. Yeah, get them. Then he swung it around against Christians, uh, against uh, Protestants, uh, against Seventh-day Adventists, uh, you name it, against his competition in business, even fellow Nazis. Uh, they would rob their companies and send them off to a, to a death camp. This is what they did. A lot of the French that helped the Nazis take over France, they got turned against. A lot of the Vici did. So that's how this works. You first set something up with an unpopular group. And whether it's a good thing to make Muslims and Arabs unpopular or not, and obviously it's discrimination and stereotypical and wrong, 
it was acceptable to say these people are devils, nuke them, to call them horrible uh, pejoratives, uh, you know, camel bleepers, rag you know, bleepers, sand in words. That's all cute and funny on talk radio. Well, I don't think it is. Because even if you think Muslims are evil and bad and want to get you, at the end of the day, this was being beta tested on them to then be used against everybody else. And I told you from the FBI, federal marshals, state police in California, Missouri, state police in Florida, Texas, uh, federal marshals sending me slat training, the videos, we, we've shown them here, we've done special reports on it, where they say, who are the number one terrorist? Gun owners. Ve returning veterans, libertarians, in the fetters, Ron Paul supporters. I mean, I have the training manuals here. The Homeland Security, the MIAC reports. Remember this being national news two years ago? Remember all this? Now, I told you, they've taken over the Middle East. They've invaded all the countries. They now are flipping over to work with al-Qaeda to overthrow Gaddafi, the Muslim Brotherhood to overthrow Mubarak. They're now shifting to a new face. They're going to keep the Muslim demonization going, but it's now a dish that's cooked. They just put it on the back burner to keep it warm. And, 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 and you know, they've killed bin Laden uh, you know, in, in their staged event. They're now moving on to the next phase to, okay, we don't have a Bill of Rights. We spy on you. You have no rights. We can secretly arrest citizens under the John Ward Defense Authorization Act, Enemy Commissions Act. We can fly you to places to be tortured. We can secretly execute you. Obama's continuing it. Now the next phase, they've already been beta testing, behind closed doors with the police and military. Now they're moving it to white al-Qaeda. And in this video, they cut to, and every one of them were mentally ill pats. He's just been confirmed, even mainstream news admits, Jihad Jane and others. Blue eyes, animating the blue eyes in the video to glow. Look, blue, blue, they're al-Qaeda. And it shows, at the, at the beginning of this Homeland Security nine-minute video, a shot of family of, of, of uh, you know, thinking about all that's good in America, nostalgia, on top of the piano, and 90 plus percent of the photos of the American family, it's Hispanics, it's Asians, it's black people. So you see it instantly, and there's one white guy, but he's blurred in the background. So it's like, this is America, and we are many people. And then it cuts to a black guy. He's professional. He's good in his suit. He's no longer being the stereotypically put down by the same media, same government as a gangbanger. He's going out in the parking garage and he sees evil white guys getting ready to blow up the building and he calls it in on them. And then the good white guys, the only good white guys in the whole thing, FBI, show up. And they stop the, 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 the white al-Qaeda that's just everywhere. They're creating this false perception ahead of the private contractors that run the government staging more a terror to take over society even more so you won't be mad about going into austerity or having your social security taken or everything imploding and all the money going to the offshore banks no no no. and and then it just cuts to white al-qaeda white al-qaeda blue-eyed women they're gonna get you and then they mix in mcveigh of course that was a staged event they mix in all of this white 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 and it goes on and on and on and on now remember I've told you for nine years, white al-Qaeda. I even said they're going to call it white al-Qaeda. I know them. I, I study them. I'm like a criminologist following a serial killer for, for decades. I know their next move. I'm on record. And it may even be they just grab the terms I come up with. Like I told you about propaganda placement and uh, message placement and, uh, and, uh, and, 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 and police state placement. Now they even use those terms. So I don't know if it's chicken or the egg, which one came first. The point is, then about six years ago, white Al-Qaeda, white Al-Qaeda, white Al-Qaeda, white Al-Qaeda. Actually, I, now that I remember it, England started it nine years ago, so I saw them do it first. I didn't actually predict that. I'm going back to memory now. So it started there. I knew it was coming here. So that's going on. Then I get the manuals from police going, yeah, this is what they're telling us. The rural council to spy on neighbors, everything else. The, I knew from manuals that came in and, and sources that all over the country, mainly rural areas, they'll say, we're having a meeting at the uh, law enforcement center this weekend, free donuts and lunch. Anybody who's concerned about al-Qaeda and terror attacks, this happened right for 9-11 and since, we want you to come down to the meeting. And you get there, they show an al-Qaeda training video, and they say, okay, now let's get to McVeigh, let's get to Ron Paul supporters, let's get to gun owners, let's get to returning veterans. And most of the folks get upset and leave. They don't care. They find the people that want to be part of it.
And I told you they tried to recruit my dad, the other dentist he works with, not because he's my dad. They're doing it to any professionals, lawyers, uh, any type of uh, corporate CEO, even the small companies. They give them little cards. It's called InfraGuard. They've recruited now over 100,000 preachers. And they tell them, spy on your flock, tell them, submit to government, things are going to collapse. This has been going on for six years that we know of. The clergy response teams, just search that term. You'll see newscast after we reported it, uh, admitting, oh, it's great. They're, they're training to tell the flock to go to the camps. And it shows the preacher saying it's of the Lord to go to the camps. It's of the Lord to take the shots. Folks, I'm not joking. If you haven't seen us play that video here probably 20 times, just search clergy response teams on YouTube. You'll get it. It's also in Police State 4, Rise of FEMA, little clips of the news. And so they've got the entire uh, grid set up, over 90% of the training with police and military together, under FBI command, under DHS command, and you go to these drills, or I've been sent photos of the drills and video and, and, and the roster of the drills, it's got to be more than 95%. It's all people wearing feed, lot caps, dressed like rednecks, going, you're not taking my land. And then a bomb goes off and, and they tell the police, the farmers attacked us. So, so they're scripting it and putting farmers in the role that they're terrorists. The cops play the role and are, and are so weak-minded, they then now believe that farmers are going to blow them up. And so now it's okay with a heavy machine gun, they mow the farmers down. This was going on in 2002 at bases. I had contractors who were working at the base who shot video on top of the building. They were retiring, and they would not let me show the video. They came up to access. They showed it to me, the Marines, at an Army base. And, and, and the people are like, no. And, and, of course, I shot some video myself at drills of similar things. We're Americans. Oh, no, please not the camp. And interrogating them and asking the role players, where'd you get the guns? Well, I got my gun in San Francisco. I mean, that's in Police Day 2000. But these guys showed me footage. And I said, please let me show this. They said, we'll come back maybe later. But they'll know we were contractors. And I said, I'll blow up the video where they can't tell you were on the roof. And they said, no. We had to sign forms to be on the base. We can't do it. Then I got confirmed news articles where they train all the ROTCs around the country, including San Antonio, when they have drills in the local forest with the ROTC, the military, people in college to be officers, they always fight militias and anti-Federal Reserve people. So the entire, it's just like our in the Cold War, the military trained to fight the Russians. For at least 10 years, the military trains to fight the And uh, the headline is, Big Sis tries to turn minorities against whites by labeling them terrorists. That's one of the articles. The other big article that's on Drudge is DSS, DHS video characterizes white Americans as most likely terrorists. And this is why I've always known that even if the government isn't staging the terror, and unfortunately the evidence is overwhelming, they are. It's ridiculous how much evidence there is. The entire uh, architecture of Homeland Security, that by the way existed pre-9-11, you can got documents with Clinton setting it up at uh, in Colorado in 1994 and, and speeches. Um, again, they always set something up before they roll it out years later. Um, the key here is that they've set up the entire architecture and the training and the drills for the American people. I only know of one drill, and I know about it because I had some family involved, out at Camp Mabry uh, a year ago, and the public was invited, where they had a guy with a Muslim turban on and the, and the fake beard and practiced killing some terrorists with some helicopters over there. And that was just for the public. Oh, look, we're killing the Muslims. But you go to the real internal drills. It is kill those U.S. militias. Take them out. Remember New York Times a couple of years ago? We showed you the article. It said, Explorer Scouts nationwide, it showed photos, trained to kill disgruntled vets. It's for you. It's for you. Let's say Al Qaeda did 9/11 just for j j just for laughs. Okay, fine. They've used it to set up a grid for the American people, and they're now telling minorities, who are the majority in most cities, "Hey, it's whitey, get him." And they're now rebranding that. So first they tell white racist, "Hey." Give up your rights because it's only for the Muslims. Now they say, hey, give up your rights, blacks and Hispanics, it's for whitey. And when you're done, everybody loses their rights. This is how they compartmentalize and sell this. Let's play part of it. Some of it doesn't have audio, so I'll, I'll, I'll voice it while, it while it rolls, where it cuts to the new America, non-white, the good people, and then it cuts to the evil whites. Here it is. Oh, look at the good Americans. The United States of America is home to over 330 million people. We are a country known for freedom, 
justice, and opportunity. Nine out of ten are not white in the photos. The American Dream draws people from across the globe, bringing different cultures, traditions, and ideas to the fabric of our great nation. Well, there's a white guy, but he's only good as in the military. At the same time, there's there are people. individuals in the United States who seek to carry out acts of terrorism and violence against our communities. Look, a white guy. A white fan. That's to invoke McVeigh. The good black guy. He recognizes the devil whitey. It, it's also about being paranoid. Terrorists are everywhere. The black guy sees the white people. Oh my gosh. They're in a white van. They're terrorists. He's going to call Homeland Security. Don't worry. And then it just cuts to evil white after evil white after evil white. And they say, whites are the number one threat. Which is what their own manuals say. Again, even the whiteies are with Al-Qaeda. Oh, more whiteies. He's hiding down in his seat. Oh, no, the whiteies. He's driving out of those were some scary whiteies. He calls Homeland Security, though. The good whites come. Hello. Listen, I don't know if this is anything, but what I just saw looked really suspicious. Oh. Definitely out of the ordinary. I was in the parking lot. All right, hit pause. We're going to come back with the rest of it. Oh, hey, I saw something out of the ordinary. I saw a U.S. government agent get a drugged out black kid on the airplane uh, in Amsterdam. Uh, yeah, he didn't have a passport or anything, but they got him on the plane. Uh, shut up, uh, Mr. Haskell. We don't know anything about that. Uh, by the way, the firecracker blew up in his pants. I, I want to give you a report. Shut up, Mr. Haskell. Turned out it was all true. I want to report the government's the chance. video characterizes white Americans as most likely terrorists. And then we are going to open the phones up. They're not open yet, but I'm going to open the phones up. Specifically, do you see through this? See, first they say, get rid of America's liberties because, you know, it's brown folks we want to go after. And so a lot of whites go, yeah, I'm scared of, of brown people. Even if you're not racist, some whites are so guilt-ridden they're scared. And so, okay, well, we're just taking the Muslims' rights or the brown people rights. And then now that they've got that in place, okay, now they're going to shift it over. No, it's the whitey. He's going to get you to get the minorities after it. And, and this nine-minute video goes on and on. You know, where 90% of the photos of the good people are, are, are quote, minorities. The, you know, there's only a few whites. And then the black guys reporting on the whites. And then G.I. Jane, her eyes, for, you know, shining blue, have been accentuated. I mean, clearly, as somebody that works in media and, and, and recognizes propaganda, this is off the chart. Then we have all the actual training manuals that law enforcement have given us where it's all about Ron Paul, conservatives, libertarians, gun owners, patriots. And, and then they make it about being white because they say, and these people are probably racist. You see, so which then makes it racial. And so that's how they're always uh, injecting this and, you know, talking about McVeigh and Elohim City and the Oklahoma City bombing, but never getting into the fact that those were staged events. Uh, here's part of Paul Watson's article, and we'll come back with the rest of the video and my analysis of it. DHS video characterizes white Americans as most likely terrorist. Big cis fear campaign continues, but Americans are just as likely to be killed by peanut allergies than they are in terrorist attacks. A new promotional video released by the Department of Homeland Security characterizes white middle class Americans as the most likely terrorist. As Big Sis continues its relentless drive, we should add some articles where they talk about white Al-Qaeda, the next threat. You know, we know what this is also because of the past scripting. As Big Sis continues its relentless drive to cement the myth that mad bombers are hiding around every corner, when in reality, Americans are just as likely to be killed by lightning strikes or peanut allergies. The video is part of a Homeland Security $10 million See Something, Say Something program that encourages Americans to report suspicious activity, which in every case throughout history has been a trait of oppressive dictatorial regimes. It's all about not trusting your fellow citizens, only trusting the big mommy government who's on record staging the terror attacks. In the course of a 10-minute clip, a myriad of different behavior and characterized as terrorism, including opposing surveillance, oh yeah, people that don't like being surveilled, Using a video camera, that's why cops come in your own yard and say you can't videotape them. T talking to police officers, yeah, you don't talk to the godlike government. Wearing hoodies, driving vans, 
uh, writing on a piece of paper and using a cell phone recording application. And that's in manuals we got five years ago, the feds put out in the state of Texas. It said, having a cell phone, wearing blue jeans. I saw an AP article where it said, don't just trust that priest or that woman with a baby carriage. They may be the terrorist. It's about everybody's a terrorist. First, they start with the unpopular Muslims. Then they move on to, 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 to blacks in America. Then they move on to the whiteies. Uh, continuing uh, here. Despite encouraging viewers not to pay attention to a person's race in determining whether or not they may be a terrorist, almost all the scenarios in the clip proceed to portray white people as the most likely terrorist. You know, they show like one 9-11 hijacker. Bizarrely, nearly every single one of the patriotic Americans who reports on their fellow citizens is either black, Arab, or Asian. Again, this is all heavily scripted. They decide all of this stuff beforehand. Imagine if the video portrayed every terrorist as an Arab and every patriotic snoop is white, there'd be an outcry, and rightly so. But this strange reversal must have been deliberate on the part of the DHS. But why? Is this merely political correctness taken to the extreme, or is this something deeper at work? Well, we have all the training manuals. I'm going to finish up with this article, and then I'm going to go to a lot more of the clip, but it just goes on and on and on. This is everything we predicted, everything we told you was going to happen. We'll be right back for years, that first governments throughout history get rid of the country's liberties and freedoms by going after an unpopular minority group. Hitler, it was the Jews, communists, stuff like that. Here, it was the Muslims. The system stages the events, provocateurs, nutcases. It's a whole grab bag of different types of provocateur terror. Then they build the architecture of the police state for the general public. So they have white audiences where they say, we're going after the brown people. Then they go to the brown audiences and they say, we're going after the white people. And that's what this nearly 10 minute Department of Homeland Security video does, but it's worse than that. We have all the different training manuals sent to us by police and military over the years that we've published and have made national news. Homeland Security, my act, the list goes on and on. And in the training, over 90% is for what? Remember a few years ago, veterans seen as the number one terror threat returning home? Remember a few months ago, okay, finally Congress voted for health care for the military, police, and fire veterans in 9-11, but you got to go through a terror database every time you get your health care? They're setting that precedent. Ron Paul supporters, Bob Barr supporters, people that like America, freedom to fascism, uh, people that like Alex Jones. This is in the different manuals. And then they say these groups are connected to racism. So they make it about being white by saying, oh, they're connected to white supremacists when there's no connection. Meanwhile, Hal Turner, one of the top Nazis, it turns out in federal court, high level FBI operative for decades, working, of course, with Sean Hannity. Um, that came out. Just look up Hal Turner, Sean Hannity. Very bizarre. These people are operatives. By the way, that's in the news today that they ran black op intelligence systems, London uh, Telegraph reports, uh, that News Corps. Um, its division in England was running black op intelligence operations. And their reporters were basically uh, private contractor agents working with MI6. Of course they are, ladies and gentlemen. What, you know about Operation Mockingbird here in the United States? I mean, we're in deep, 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 deep trouble. And so they branded the war on terror with we're taking the rights away, but we're only going to enforce it on the evil Muslims, in quotes. Now it's, oh my gosh, the white Al-Qaeda. And in every one of the scenarios, except one in a 10-minute video, it's, quote, minorities, Asians, blacks, Hispanics, reporting on the evil whites. And uh, it just goes on and on and on. Despite encouraging viewers not to pay attention to the person's race and determining whether or not they may be a terrorist, almost all the scenarios in the clip proceed to portray white people as the most likely terrorists. Bizarrely, nearly every single one of the patriotic Americans who reports on their fellow citizens is either black, Asian, or Arab. Imagine if the video portrayed every terrorist as an Arab and every patriotic snoop is white. There'd be an outcry, and rightly so. But this strange reversal must have been deliberate on the part of the DHS. But why? Is this merely political correctness taken to an extreme, or is it something deeper at work? And then he goes with the proof that it's absolutely what's been going on behind the scenes. So they're now shifting it on to the American people. DHS checkpoints, Homeland Security, uh, TSA running wild. This is the total takeover. And 
it's meant to make all of us not trust each other and divide and conquer and only trust the nanny state. Don't trust other Walmart shoppers. The telescreens say only trust Big Sis, who, of course, helped get the underwear bomber on the plane on record and who helped ship the guns into Mexico and to blame the Second Amendment. But she's good, though. Continuing here, um, this has to do with the color of a person's skin and everything to do. This has little to do with the color of a person's skin and everything to do with the fact that white middle class Americans are the biggest roadblock when it comes to big sis expanding its control over every facet of society. Well, now they're just tackling the big egg. It's plain to see that very little of... The budget for this video went towards paying for decent actors, but perhaps it's fitting that the participants were about as believable as Santa and his elves. Because the notion that terrorists are hovering around every underground parking lot waiting to blow up federal buildings is demonstrably false. Actually, when Jane Graham up in the HUD building saw McVeigh and other feds planting bombs and warn people, they didn't want to hear about it. <laughs> in Oklahoma City. As Ohio University John Mueller has documented, the likelihood of actually being a victim of terrorism is infinitesimally small and only highlights how much threats are hyperbolically exaggerated for political purposes. Figures collected by Mueller clearly show that Americans are just as likely to be killed by lightning strikes, accidents, uh, by running into deer, or severe allergic reactions to peanuts. But the facts don't matter for a federal agency whose primary function is to manufacture fear, as former head of Homeland Security Governor Ridge admitted he was ordered to do. See, we have all the facts here. Uh, to keep Americans under control and submissive to the fact that their economic futures and their constitutional rights are being torn to shreds by their own government while it points to a contrived outside threat as a convenient distraction. At its core, the video was filled with scenes of ordinary citizens spying on each other and alerting the authorities to their compatriots. Suspicious deeds, writes Simon Black. In my favorite scene, a woman calls the police after snooping over the shoulder of a young man typing away on his smartphone. Black notes that such videos are solely aimed at reinforcing ignorance, hate, and fear for those who still live in darkness and are completely unaware of the real agenda behind Homeland Security's See Something, Say Something charade. By the way, I'm going to call Watson during the break and during that part about the feds issuing terror alerts to create artificial fear and make you love them and not love your neighbor. I'm going to have him add a link to Ridge admitting that. I think we need to even document that more for folks. No matter where you look, from East Germany to Communist Russia to Nazi Germany, historically governments who encourage their own citizens to report on each other do so not out of a genuine safety concerns or presume benefits to security, but in order to create an authoritarian police state that coerces the people into policing each other's behavior and thoughts, and to create a big chilling effect as well. I better not speak out about freedom. You know, my, uh, my neighbor will call Homeland Security on me. Well, let them. They're the terrorists anyways. Let's just get it out in the open. We all know you blew up the towers, you murdering military industrial complex banker-owned scum. As Robert... Jelanti of Florida State University has highlighted Germans under Hitler denounced their neighbors and friends not because they genuinely believed them to be a security threat, but because they expected to selfishly benefit from doing so, both financially and socially and psychologically, via a Pavlovian need to be rewarded by their masters for their obedience. And that's how now you hear ads about report if your boss is pirating software. Report if your neighbor's spanking their kid was well, not even legal. Uh, report people uh, who are homeschooling. All of this is about getting social reward or feeling like you've been patted on the head. In fact, I didn't get into it, but will you guys repull the study from yesterday? Big international and major U.S. university uh, study and concert that found that people will say a barn door is blue if authority figures tell them it's blue, even if the barn door is red. And uh, that's what uh, you have know, different TV shows illustrating this, how peer pressure works. And so people relish calling and tattling on their neighbors. They get a thrill like the authority loves them. Any free society abhors telling on somebody even if what somebody's doing is wrong. In the old days, you would just take care of it yourself. I mean, you know, only the very worst stuff would be reported because people knew how dangerous a snitch society was. And uh, it goes on uh, through the rest of this. I mean, this is just classical tyranny. 
Uh, let's go ahead and start getting into the rest of the video as I analyze it here. PrisonPlanet.tv viewers can see it, but uh, we're here critiquing uh, this taxpayer paid for uh, propaganda. We have the video posted up at Infowars.com in our articles. Uh, let, let's continue. Uh, you got the black guy calling in the evil white people, uh, and then it cuts to a bunch of shots of news articles of white terrorists in every case, mentally ill provocateurs or purely staged government ops like McVeigh. It, it has animated blue eyes shining. Oh my gosh, the white devil's going to get you. Here it is. We're building all third and J Street. Don't worry, Homeland Security's on it. It's not easy to put all the pieces together, and we don't expect you to. That's the job of law enforcement and I hit pause. analysts. I forgot to point this out. Uh, you've got one of the federal and local uh, top police analysts uh, predicting future terror threats, Mr. Farrell, over in England, when he found out it was the government behind 7-7, and he said the new threat, and he, he brought up that you know, other cases of where it was admitted with the British government had staged terror, they fired him. So see, all they want is little dumbed down control freaks work. I've tried on air to call Homeland Security to report terror over and over again. And the numbers don't work or nobody answers. It's all fake. It's all fake. They use the NSA to spy on people. So in case you find out the government's about to stage a terror attack or a corporation is to get naked body scanners in or whatever the case is so they can use NSA spying to make sure police don't get alerted and that they can go forward with the bombing. Uh, let's continue with the video. But Homeland Security is a shared effort and responsibility for each of us. When you see things that just don't seem right, that seem somehow out of the ordinary, reporting what you've observed can be invaluable to the work well, of there's law one good white guy and reporting on the other evil whitey. Shared effort. Acts oh. of terrorism against the United States can be large or small. McVeigh, and we've all seen their horrific images on television or in G.I. Jane with glowing blue eyes. But terrorist acts don't happen spontaneously. Oh, one hijacker. Many require some oh, that was form the of planning. Times Square. Joe Stack. Before they strike, many terrorists watch and study their targets. Yeah, don't videotape. Gather information. Oh, they're videotaping cops. Or that cop will get them. Test security. Yeah, don't videotape TSA grabbing your children. Acquire funds and supplies, often through criminal activities. And rehearse or walk through their plans. To do this, they may create or change identity documents or badges and seek to obtain information. Meanwhile, the feds targets. allow the illegals to be above the law. Changes or it, Paul, we're going back to break. And of course, the feds have been caught over and over again in some DMVs handing out 20, 30,000 fake IDs to illegals. I mean, every crime they're talking about here is the feds. They are the drug dealing, murdering scumbags that work for foreign banks. They're getting ready to blow more it stuff. All up. coincides with Pell Mel fear-mongering that domestic terrorists are the number one threat, militias and Al-Qaeda, they mix them together. Uh, folks, the redneck militias absolutely hate Al-Qaeda. That's like claiming that, uh, that uh, you know, Beelzebub's working with Jesus. I mean, I mean, this is, this is just so ridiculous, or that night is day. But that's what they do in the training manuals, now they're going public. All the major ROTC training, the scout explorers, what do they train in college and in middle school? And all these programs, kill the militias, kill the gun owners, kill the disgruntled veteran. You want me to show you the New York Times article? I can show you a bunch of others. Hey, let, let's put that up. First line of the article, uh, explorer scouts trained to take on terrorists. And then the first line is, ah, oh, they train to take on disgruntled Iraq war vets. And then it shows the photos of them with paintball killing the veterans. If you got a bird dog, you train it to go after quail, or you train it to go after pick up the dove or the duck. If you got a coon hound, you train it to go tree a coon. The military and the police are trained to take on the veterans. And we've got the training manuals from every stinking federal agency. ATF, FBI, federal marshals, state police, Homeland Security master documents. I've published them all. Okay, I've tried over and over again to call dozens of numbers on air. You've seen me. They don't answer the hotlines. It's all fake. It's all fake. There it is. Scouts trained to fight terrorists and more. And you scroll down, first paragraph. Mm, you can look at the dozens. They've got like 20-something photos in the gallery. 
Ten minutes into an errant mayhem in his town near the Mexican border, a gunman, a disgruntled Iraq war veteran, has already taken two people hostage. See, see, see. It's casting the vets as, as, as killing people. He's already taken out two people. One slumped in his desk, the other covered in blood. It doesn't matter. The scouts go in and take out that Iraq war veteran scum. I mean, this is how they do it. I've been to the urban warfare drills for 16 years and watched them with Boy Scouts. This is in Police Day 2000, shot in 1998 in Hebron, Maryland, where the police chief comes over with Marines with machine guns, with heavy guns, and says, turn your camera off, you're not taping it. Well, they had another camera guy who did get it on tape. It was what looked like 10 to 12 year old groups uh, uh, in, the, in little white t-shirts, they could be identified, uh, of Boy Scouts working with the Marines to come out and tell them what guns were in mommy and daddy's house. Oh, this was confirmed. Now, you know why I'm a little freaked out and know the government's evil and was gonna stage terror attacks before 9-11. Because in all their RAND Corporation public documents, they said they would use terror to destroy the Republic, to destroy our freedoms, to destroy the Bill of Rights and Constitution. And they are now pell-mell hyping 24-7 that the terrorists are about to hit everywhere, get ready. Yeah, they're gonna hit right when the banks are robbing everybody, so you'll still put your flag outside and go grovel to government and tattle on your neighbors. We're gonna go out to break here in a minute and come back with your calls, but let's play a little bit more of the of the TV soap operas they're putting out, demonizing uh, you know the new white Al-Qaeda, here it is. In facilities or procedures can be indicators of terrorism. Another evil whitey. Any of what we call these precursors Another whitey. might be observable. Oh, she's watching the Asian woman's watching whitey. Member of the public. Oh my gosh, he's white. You are in the best position to spot these. She's watching him. Don't worry though. As you go about your everyday activities in your community. Oh, you left your bag. Why didn't she get involved stopping the CPS kidnapping uh, innocent kids? Now it's important to carefully consider what you observe. Reporting suspicious activity should not be based on a person's race. Oh, yeah. All right, we're going to go to break and come back uh, here. But the image is it's Whitey. By the way, I've been at the airport and wanting to go throw a, a water bottle away in the trash and walk 10 feet away from my bag. And it's always women. They start going, uh, 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 uh. hey, hey, the government did it. Take some more vaccines, lady. Filled with cancer viruses. Give your kids formerly medical. What American do if they went to urban warfare drills? and watched young children training to report on their parents. You would get upset. I remember two years ago uh, up in uh, Arcadia, Iowa, it was in the newspaper that the local gun shop is gonna practice being shut down and raided. There will then be door-to-door -door gun confiscation in the town of 700 and they've all agreed to take part. School children will be helping. And I came out and said it was a gun confiscation drill and the paper freaked out on me and said the town's gotten thousands of calls, people are coming here. Yes, it was gonna be a gun confiscation drill, but for Iraq. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And the government just got caught shipping guns into Mexico to blame it on the second amendment red-handed and they don't even care. They're still going ahead with the false flag. It'd be like if they caught the feds that day red-handed at Oklahoma City. Uh, and, and you know there's been more deaths from the 30-something thousand guns they shipped than what died, 168 or whatever it was uh, at, at Oklahoma City. It'd be like catching them red-handed there. And now we catch the feds all over the country. Miami and Chicago, everywhere, selling guns to at low prices, fully auto, you name it, grenade launchers, whatever you need, directly to the drug gangs who are in their employ to knock out the other drug gangs. It's going on nationwide, it's not just Mexico. Of course the feds run the 500 billion in narcotics money. Do you think some local zit-faced crack dealer is laundering that money? 500 billion dollars a year. And then the hundreds of billions out of the private prisons with the slave labor working for 25 cents an hour displacing all of our jobs. It's not rocket science. It's not rocket science. It's 100% proven. Now, they're getting all their little spies primed, all their little minions that if you see, you see somebody leave the bag, you know, on a bench while they go throw something in the trash to panic and start screaming and, Homeland Security, it's a white guy, put that bag down. Ah! 
That's why now every major city under federal grants is buying multi-million dollar robots. Austin just got two of them. What was it, Lockheed Martin, the last company? All that, or was it North at Grumman in Austin? And then now they got to have something happen. So they find a cardboard box on the side of I-35, blows out of somebody's car, an old mattress. The robot goes up every week. They shot down the highway, the helicopters, and then they blow up the thing claiming they're protecting you. But really, it's to create an explosion at a Pavlovian level that that was a bomb. And they have drills and blow up buses and cars unannounced and say a day later it was just a drill to create the fear. Oh, did you hear downtown Chicago? A bus blew up today. You, you call your family, honey, get home. They just blew up a bus a day later. It was a drill. Psychological warfare. The homeschoolers being demonized. Came out in Michigan and a bunch of other states, AP, four years ago. Nationwide federal grants. They call the elementary school kids out in the parking lot and they blow up a bus, an old bus, catch it on fire. I filmed this stuff, by the way, up in Belton where they did it there as well. Announced a real terror attack. We already knew about the drills. From our sources, we were there. Army came over and threatened us. You're Jones. You're the one that taped us on that I-35 checkpoint. Turn your camera off. And I said, go ahead and arrest me. I know it's the government staging the terror. I'm going to take this. I'm going to show people this is a fake terror attack. I don't care. I'm committed. There's nothing you can do. I don't care what you do to me. I'm committed, 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 committed terrorists to bring you to justice. And nothing's going to stop it. So... They have these fake terror attacks, act, and, 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 and then they blew the bus up, and they call the elementary kids out crying. First, the kids are standing around the bus. They catch it on fire, and then men in camo run up and aim guns at the crying children. Who It, it was in the news, began urinating and defecating on themselves. It's done nationwide, saying, we are the Homeschool Defense League against public education. We are pro-gun. We are going to kill you. Look it up. That was a hardcore Soviet re-education camp situation. America is a giant re-education camp, okay? And they leave people like me alone because they know if they kill me, it'll only make this a bigger issue. It'll highlight everything I've said. Plus, they want to incrementally move. If I'm deer hunting and some little deer come out, little bucks, three, four point, I don't shoot them. If I'm hunting for meat, I shoot a fat young doe. Uh, but if I'm, you know, hunting for a rack, I go for, you know, the biggins. And you know, I let the little bucks go by. I'm a little buck. They want all of America. They want all of you forcibly taking their cancer virus vaccines. They want all of you forcibly giving your kids uh, high fructose corn syrup uh, formula. They want all of you with lowered IQs and doubling of cancer and diabetes. They want it and they're going to get it. And they don't want to spoil what they're slowly gutting America by smashing me flatter to pancake. Sure, they demonize me in the they national They're priming press. everybody for domestic soft terror attacks all over the country. And they're going to hop up, drug head white people, blacks, Muslims, you name it, claim they're linked up together. In some cases, they'll have contractors kill people. They'll shoot a patsy in the head like Harris and Clybold and say that that's what happened. They're getting ready. You wonder how the government's going to get its banking raping through, how it's going to get its police state through, how they're going to get the 9% approval rating for Congress up. Look at all the Democratic operatives that have written memos to Obama saying you need a 9-11 or Oklahoma City. That will help you. I'm telling you, they're getting ready, and they're getting ready to unleash white Al-Qaeda. It'll be as phony as a $3 bill, but they don't care. Only exposing the terror attacks and taking that tool away from them is going to defeat them. And they're hopping mad, people, now. Every time there's a new terror attack, look around and watch and, and see what's happening. Our listeners caught the underwear bomber being brought on the plane by the U.S. government. And it came out to be true a month and a half later. So we're watching you murderers. The real patriots are watching and listening. And they know who to watch. They know who to watch. Private contractors. They know who to watch. The FBI. We know who to watch. The Foreign Intelligence Services. Mossad. MI6. We know who to watch. We're watching you. Don't you worry. You want to get us watching each other? We're watching you. And you don't like that, do you? You don't want people discussing that government stage terror throughout history. Your little treat, your little jig is up, murderers, because a lot of us don't care what you do to us. We're totally committed because we know you're murderers, and we know there's no future if we don't stop you murdering control freak eugenics filth.